was celebrated wholly without coronavirus panic people were seen singing and happily applying colors to each other by saying holy re holy happy holy With the aim to collect money for the flood affected people in Kerala a youth began his solo walk journey from Kerala reached Goa on Monday evening after 24 days Legend Ronaldinho arrested over fake passport in Paraguay while his lawyers claim that Ronaldinho did not deliberately use a fake passport should be released by the authorities Hi it's Clinton and Souza and now the news in detail The coronavirus had created panic and fear across the state over meeting in public but the festival of colors holy united all on tuesday without any fear people across the state celebrated holy however the health ministry and other officials had made alert for the people to refrain from meeting in public and be alert but the people were seen singing and happily applying colors to each other by saying Holy re holy happy holy People across the state right from Margao Mapsa Ponda Bicholim Kerie to Panaji celebrated the festival of colors on Tuesday People were seen applying colors to each other with love to celebrate the festival of colors holy In Margao Goa forward MLA Vijay Sardasai celebrated holy with the Margao cars watch गोयर लोक होली की शुभकामना दिता गोयन आता सद्या कोरोना अख्खे इंडियन वर्ल्ड कोरोना के प्रॉब्लम जाले आ कोरोना वायरस तरीपन हंगसर कोरोना गोयन खूब वे कोरोना का तरीपन तेजे मात कर आज हंगसर होली सेलिब्रेट कर होली एक कलर कलर एक कलरफुल लाइफ खाती एक होली सण आ While in the capital city the Panaji Shigma Samiti and local MLA Babush Monsarath also celebrated holy with the Ponje Cars watch
रंगाचे फेस्टिवल फेस्टिवल ऑफ कलर्स म्हणता म्हणता रंगी बेरंगी दुनियेन तुमका खबर आ प्रत्येक रंग कसले ना कसले प्रतीक असता धव रंग शांतीचा प्रतीक तांबडा रंग प्रेमाचा प्रतीक झाला आमचा भगवा रंग असता पय आमचा छत्रपती शिवाजी महाराजाचा विजयाचा विक्टरीचा प्रतीक म्हणता आम्ही झाला आम्हाला सगळ्यां विनंती करता की आम्ही आनंदान आणि सबंध आनंदान आणि उमेदीन हो सण साजरा करूया आणि सबंध गोयकारा आयच्या Our reporters Sandeep Kamalkar in Mapsa, Krishna Naik in Ponda, Sandeep Tuekar and Ramesh Naik Raut in Margao, Aniket Narvekar in Panaji and Javar Barve in Becholim. For Goa 365. After 23 years, the people of Kerin Sankli celebrated the festival of Colors Holi. Due to various factors and reasons, this celebration was not celebrated by the locals. But this year, Azoba Santri Devastan celebrated Holi and Shigmo. 
whole village celebrated the festival in unity. Traditional Holi with rituals was celebrated by the Pednikars in Pedne. The elders were seen singing to the traditional flocks and Garane watch. Malkandikars celebrated traditional Holi by lighting the cow dung cakes watch. Our reporters Mahesh Govekar in Satri, Sandeep Tuvekar in Margao and Sandeep Kamalkar in Mapusa. We will take a short break. Please stay with us. Welcome back. And here is the Zilla Panchayat election roundup. Mandri MLA Dayanand Sopte actively campaigned for the BJP ZP candidate in Morji. Candidate Dananjay Shetkankar first took Prasad at Morji's Sri Devi Murji temple before going on the campaign trail. The candidate, however, did not talk to the media and all the talking was done by MLA Sopte. And here, Gawa Khatir, as per in the Jojo Gosti Karpak Daislo, development Daupak Daislo, Kahi Zalab, Kahi Bakiha, Totumi Sangso, Nakis, as per in the Amdari and Athen get it thin words and Pramukhan by election that took up for ten no meaning. Jiji. प्रोजेक्ट प्रकल्प हा मांद्रे मतदार संघान हल्ला का ही आम मोर्जे पंचायती ने नक्की उरलली दोन वर्ष डेवलपमेंट ही करतेबर बेकार जे भाव भेणा जे आसा ये बेकार भाव भेणा खीर तुम खे तरी भवितव्य विचार सीरियसली करते कांग्रेस कैंडिडेट इन नावेली फॉर जिला पंचायत इलेक्शन जुजे कोयल्यो कंडक्टेड हिज डोर टू डू कैम्पेन ही एक्सप्रेस हिज कॉन्फिडन्स ऑफ विनिंग द सीट बर रिस्पॉन्स आ सारे लोग तू ये पा घर वो नागले आ रिपोर्टर्स संदीप कमलकर फ्रॉम मंद्रे एंड रमेश नायक राउट फ्रॉम नावेली Members of the Travel Agents Association of India Goa chapter on Monday met the minister, Chief Minister Dr. Pramod Savant at his residence over the drop of tourist arrivals in Goa. The travel agents said the Chief Minister assured them to address their grievances. The travel agents say that the airfare to and from Goa is high and this deters tourists. They also say the hotel tariffs are on the higher side. Travel Agents Association of India has around 4000 members all over the country and in Goa their number stands at 40. The chief minister gave us a very patient hearing and uh, he has almost uh, solved more than 50% of the issues raised before him on the spot and I think I thank thank him for that. One of the issues uh, that we, we discuss is regarding the tourism plan that is uh, uh, coming into force. we are the biggest body in india at the moment and being the biggest body in india we have to be represented on the board because most tourists that come to goa are brought in by us corona effect is definitely there but so far as goa is concerned we have not seen uh, much as yet now we had some small issues with the licensing and the chief minister has dealt with it very clearly See, they, he has given us assurance as far as uh, the representation is concerned, the licenses is concerned. Even he has uh, gone ahead and said that the tourism calendar will be ready by uh, May, and uh, uh, also take a take up the Kolwa Beach uh, issue, which we have raised with him. We uh, have specifically spoken about Kolwa, yeah. where the creek is joining the sea, and. since kolwa is one of the iconic beaches so that will be also looked after and immediately make sure that the creek which goes into the sea is stopped with the sewage water our video journalist eshwan parab from panji with the aim to collect money for the flood affected people in kerala a youth began his solo walk journey from kerala and reached goa on monday evening after 24 days keralaite sagar chandran began his journey from kerala with one aim that is to create awareness about the flood affected people in kerala he himself was one of the victims he shared his experience of journey with goan media watch 
I've started my journey on 15th and I'm, I'm standing here in Madhgao and on uh, 8th, 9th of March. I take 24, 25 days to reach here and it was a good journey and the motive of this journey is to collect. Uh, I'll do a painting in uh, every city, main city's main points and the uh, amount which I get by sailing that um, painting is been uh, given to the flood victims in our area and I am too old. Uh, me too is a uh, victim of that flood. You all know that 2019 was a bad year for our airlines and the, uh, mainly in our city it was really affected and what do you will say and all my certificates was lost and I was not able to go for a series. It was really a bad situation over there and I, by that I thought what I can do my, for my society and finally I have done this and I have successfully completed between 25 days I am able to complete and I have uh, around 14,000 I was around 14,000. I was able to collect. Our reporter Sandeep Dwekar in Markau. We will take a short break. Please stay with us. Welcome back. Seolim Dineri, the parish youth organized and spiritual rich lengthen reflection through their musical show Be Redeemed in Asagao on Monday. This show showcased the reality of seven deadly sins in one's day to day life. This program was held at the St. Cajetan's Church in Asagao. Watch. I am going to be able to be redeemed. And I am going to be able to be redeemed. I am going to be able to be redeemed. I am going to be able to be redeemed. I am going to be able to be Gunani Tani Mukarala. Be Redeemed is a program that uh, is a is a very spiritual call of uh, of Jesus to us. Uh, for we have lived our life in sin, and uh, God will always call us to be free of it. So this uh, has been an effort of the Sioli Dinari youth, and all the parishes, all the nine parishes, have come together to give a kind of a splendid performance uh, and give a little message for uh, for all the congregation for the audience as part of the lenten observance <laughs> this beautiful season of lent providentially which helps us realign our compass back to what really matters in the end. It is the season that shakes us off our slumber and our lethargy and turns us back to the voice of God in our hearts. But make no mistake ladies and gentlemen, these 40 days of Lent is also a period of spiritual combat. And even though the climb is high and the fight against sin is exhausting, we have Jesus fighting on our side. Sogle to apna kode ektai korung sukta. Greed comes along with human nature. You will always find him grabbing everything for himself. From toys to stationaries to eatables, everything is grabbed. Pura 
Chennai FC and ATK will be gunning for their third title in the Hero Indian Super League and nobody grudged them off of place in Sunday's finals at Pandijawalnir Stadium in Fatorta, Goa. The job completed in two leg playoffs by hook or by crook, both sides remained resolute when the tide seemed to be against them in the reverse leg. If Chennai and FC found themselves down 0-2 inside the first 20 minutes against FC Goa, ATK suffered an early reverse at the home against defending champion Bangluru FC. Still, they managed to turn the tables in their favour for a deserving place in the finals. Yes, more. In the first semi-final, Chennai and FC Goa served up for a goal fest that produced 11 goals with the former champions emerging triumphed of the 6-5 on aggregate. In fact, it was comfortably the highest scoring playoffs tie in the six-year history of ISL and probably the most thrilling one as well. It seemed the tie was well and truly finished when Chennai FC pumped FC Goa for one at their home in the first leg. However, Goa mounted a brilliant fight back at the home and came with a goal over turning over the result when they were 2-0 up in the first half. But Owen's men managed to score two away goals to almost secure the tie. Clifford Miranda's men scored two late goals to ensure a nervous finish to the tie, with Chennai emerging victorious. ATK, on the other hand, had to launch a terrific fight back to reach the third ISL finals. They had been blunted in the first leg in Bangalore, with the defending champions winning 1-0. ATK found themselves on the back foot early in the second leg in Kolkata, when Ashik Kurkani scored an away goal to double Bangalore's advantage. ATK had to score three times on the wave their chance of reaching the final goodbye. In spite the likes of Prabir Das, David Williams, Roy Krishna and goalkeeper Arindam Bhattacharya, Antonio Habas men completed the turnaround to dumb Bangalore FC out with the added advantage of an AFC Cup spot on the offer of winning the Summit Clash, expected Chennai FC and ATK to serve up another classic as they face off in the finals for the first time. This is Clinton D'Souza for Goa 365. Do you know that football legend Ronaldinho is arrested in Paraguay? The Brazilian and world star legend footballer that Ronaldinho has been arrested for carrying fake passport. While the, his lawyers claim that Ronaldinho did not deliberately use the fake passport and should be released by the authorities and Paraguay. Watch. Ronaldinho is one of the greatest footballers of all time and a role model to many across the globe. Sources claim that two-time world player of the year Ronaldinho and his brother was detained on Sunday after using forged travel documents to enter a country. Their Brazilian lawyer, that is Sergio, said that he was asked for the the duo brothers to be released and to be allowed to be returned back to their home country. The lawyer clearly said that Ronaldinho wasn't aware that the passport given or handed over to him was fake. The lawyer also said the prosecutors had agreed that footballer had acted in good faith and a decision by a judge to other their detention was unwarranted. Clinton D'Souza for Goa 365. The state on Monday evening witnessed the creative art of young talented kids of Goa at the 45th art exhibition and competition. Social issues and awareness were the types of arts projected at this exhibition. This exhibition and competition was jointly organized by the Kala Academy Art and Culture Department and the Goa Arts College, which was held at the Sanskruti Bhavan in Pato Panachi. This event was inaugurated by Secretary of Art and Culture Department. Chokoram Garge, in the presence of director Shagun Velip and others. Some of the kids were also felicitated for their art. As far as other participants are concerned, I convey my best wishes so that they get award in the next session of the competition whenever it takes place. I would urge the authorities 
to convey this message to all that more and more people should participate in this competition. It is going to help them in achieving greater heights in their careers. Our video journalist Aniket Narvikar in Panachi. Well, with that, we have come to the end of this news bulletin. For more news and updates, please log in to our website at www.goa365.tv or follow us on Facebook at Goa365TV. And also do subscribe to our YouTube channel at Goa365TV or simply download our app on both an Android and your iPhones to watch mobile phones. Until then, keep watching Goa365. <music>